what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Flash document. There we go. And we're just going to create a very simple website in Flash. So let's open up our panel down here. Let's change our size, make it a little easier to work with. Let's just uh, change our size here to 200 pixels tall. Make it a little smaller, a little more manageable. Obviously, you probably won't be creating too many websites that are this size, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it small. Okay, now that we've uh, changed our size here, one thing you might want to consider is frame rate. If you're going to be working with a lot of animations, then you want your frame rate to be a little bit higher than the default frame rate of 12 frames per second. Because 12 frames per second can tend to be pretty choppy. So one frame rate that I like to work with a lot, especially if I have a lot of animations, is 30 frames per second. So we're going to raise that to 30 frames per second. Now keep in mind that this does increase your file size, so you also need to consider who your users are. If you're going to have a lot of users that are going to be on dial-up instead of broadband, then you might want to consider keeping that frame rate relatively low. It might result in choppier animations, but it also might allow your users to download it a little quicker. But 30 is a good frame rate. I like to use 30. Uh, so let's get started. First thing we need on a website is buttons. Buttons that tell us to go to page 1, page 2, page 3, whatever page you want to go to. So let's go ahead and create some simple buttons. I'm going to create these simply using the rectangle tool. And let's choose a fill color of dark green. And our stroke color, let's just leave that at black for now. I'm not going to do anything real fancy yet, so don't be too upset if this doesn't look pretty. So let's draw a rectangle on the screen. If you want to round off the corners, one little trick is while you're dragging the rectangle out, you can hit up and down on your arrow keys, and if you hit down, you'll notice the corners get rounded off. And if you hit up, they get squared off. So there we go, we have our button. And if you're working with Flash Professional 8, another little tip here, you'll notice if we look at our button here, on some of these rounded corners, the strokes don't look very good. They're kind of pixelated around the edges. Well, there's an easy way to fix this using Flash 8 that is not available in earlier versions of Flash. So if you're using an earlier version of Flash, you'll just have to live with it. If you're using Flash 8, however, we choose our selection tool here and double click on the stroke to select the entire stroke. You'll notice there's something down here called stroke hinting. If we check that and then click outside of our stroke, you'll notice that most of that pixelation, most of that really horde looking corner is gone. So that's a very helpful tool. All right, now what we want to do is uh, put some text on the button. Let's use our text tool. And down here in our properties, we'll change our text color to white. And uh, let's type some text. Let's say this button is going to take us to the home page. We'll type in home, hit escape to exit.